To my daughter, Eleanor, soon you will be born, and Rapture will be your home. You shall be raised as I was, to advance the common good through social psychiatry. This city's potential is immeasurable, Eleanor, yet our beliefs are unwelcome here. Life will be difficult, but the price of revolution is always dear. If we are patient with her, Rapture will come to us. White is not black, Dr. Lamb. Down is not up, and straw is not gold. Look around you. Rapture is no miracle. It is a product of reason. Impossible unless one and one are two, and A equates to A. And yet, alone, each man is a prisoner to bias, dream, delusion, or the pain of a phantom limb. To one man, they are as real as rain. Reality is consensus, and the people are losing faith. Take a walk, Andrew. It is raining in rapture, and you have simply chosen not to notice. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for the role of evolution. Depression, fits of panic, sexual pathos, all responses to ancient selection pressure. The irony is that this theory is why Ryan's people invited me here. They mistake my study of natural law for the worship of competition. Remember, Eleanor, one must know the beast before it can be slain. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor, loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. Rapture is a paradise of the ego, Eleanor. Under Ryan, the voices of an entire city sing the virtues of greed and pride. But truth, rather, is in the body. Already they grow weary of struggling against one another in fruitless competition. Observe the bent backs, the drawn faces. Ryan promised us more, they seem to say. In what shall we now believe? And Eleanor, it is our task to answer. I know the surface, Eleanor. I spent half a lifetime there, in service of the common good. But then, I heard my own words twisted by fat old men squatting over the embers of Hiroshima. Were the modern world a patient in my care, I would diagnose it suicidal. On perhaps that point alone, Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture is deliverance. Religious rites, Doctor. You're free to kneel before whatever tribal fetish you favor in the comfort of your own home. But in rapture, liberty is our only law. A man's only duty is to himself. 
To imply otherwise, therefore, is criminal. Ask yourself, Andrew, what is your great chain of progress but a faith? The chain is a symbol for an irrational force guiding us towards ascension. No less mystic than the crucifixes you seize and burn. Dr. Lamb, Sophia, I came down here to sing and to start a family, but I just don't fit with these people. Look at you. You fit with them. Grace, in Ryan's rapture, I am the pariah. You and I share unpopular ideas, but I wonder, how devoted are you to the rapture people? If you wish to know more, Wear this butterfly brooch at our next session. If not, no harm done. We shall never speak of it again. Now, Eleanor, Mummy has to go away for a while. You shall be staying with Aunt Gracie. Mummy! Don't go! Eleanor, you are better than that. Do you remember what I told you? I am very special. That's right. And what else? I was born to change the world. Yes. And when Mummy returns home, the world will be very different indeed. She will make it ready for you. Rapture. The keenest minds in the world, united under the ocean, yet somehow expected to subscribe to the same model of self-interest. Ryan could be staggeringly naive. As individuals, no matter how brilliant, each was a prisoner to his or her own ego, a sea of dreams in constant flux. But in Adam, their genes remain ready to be tested against a moral vessel. Utopia cannot precede the utopian. It will exist the moment we are fit to occupy it. Until Adam, the human animal was a slave to the gene, the inner tyrant, lust. Greed, rage, self-obsession was etched into our DNA. We were not pulling the great chain of progress, as Ryan believed, but shackled to it. But now, in theory, we can redraft the human blueprint. Serving the common interest can become as natural as breathing. The tyrant will simply go extinct. All right, Doctor. I'm here. But don't think wearing this butterfly means I'm happy. Grace, I know you all too well. Want of child defines you. But biological loyalty turns us against the rest of the world, whom we ought to love in equal measure. Your poverty is testament to that, but your voice inspires the people. I am asking you, to join a much larger family. Though your body failed you, you shall live on in us. <laughs> <laughs>